Hello everyone, Vanya here. In a recent video, I've showed you the work pick line overview feature and I've received a couple questions since around how one can customize the fields that are displayed in that flow. So I've created a simple project uh, where I have a new package and new model um, and I've done some very basic modifications here. So first of all, I added a new field uh, through a table extension to WHS work table. So this is the work headers and it is just a string field called my own field. Uh, I've also exposed it on the form through a form extension. Again, very simple. And I've just put it on the header under the, uh, the general um, page. I've also added a new field to the work line uh, through a table extension. Again, it's just called my own field, but it's an integer field instead of a string. And then I've also added a couple display methods. Uh, one on work table, uh, I called this one requires forklift uh, and it returns a string. So I'm using an ADT just for the label. And the implementation is obviously very simple just for the example. Um, and it returns true if the work lines, or at least one work line on that work, is using the SO pick work class ID. Um, the reason I'm using a string EDT is because the way that display methods are handled when sending the data to the mobile device, it doesn't um, convert the enums to their label. Uh, values automatically. So I'm basically doing it as part of the display method here myself. Uh, otherwise, it will obviously still work, but on the mobile device, you would see zeros and ones as the integer representations of whatever the uh, enum you, uh, you use is. I've also added a new display method on the work line, which is basically displaying the crushability uh, factor for the different items on uh, the work header. Um, in this case, you can see the implementation again is very simple and I'm just taking the gross weight for the specific item on uh, the work line. I did not bother with, you know, lines where it's the item ID is blank or anything like that. Again, a very simple implementation. Now, the way that uh, the standard out of the box implementation is done for the lookup methods uh, when selecting which field should be part of the work list or the work pick line overview feature. I also needed to make one small extension um, to the WHS TMP field name. So this is uh, the table used to store uh, temporarily the fields that should be displayed in the lookup. And what I've done here is basically a simple chain of command method where after calling the standard logic, I add one additional uh, a row which contains my display method. I did not bother with the syntax and as you can see the base implementation is also very very similar. Uh, for work line display methods the implementation out of the box is actually generic where it is looping through all the different methods on the work line. Um, so I did not have to make any changes there. So as a result I'm able to configure these fields now if I go to mobile device menu items, the standard basically configuration for a work list, and I click on field list. You can see I have configured here the requires forklift display method. Uh, it now shows up in the list, obviously, and I have selected it here, and I've also added my own field, which is just a field on the table. Similarly, I have done uh, for the sales pick line overview, which I have configured, where in the field list I have selected the crushability display method and then also my own field. Uh, I've prepared some work just to demonstrate this. So I've, uh, you know, edited the field uh, on the header. I have not bothered with doing the same on the line level. I guess it should be pretty clear that it works the same way. And then I've also created a a work here that just has multiple lines 
uh, and the the different items on the order have you know weight uh, that varies so that I can demonstrate it on the mobile device. So if we go to the outbound menu on the new warehouse management app um, and navigate to the work list, you can see I have a list which now has my own field. It is at the top because this is the field I've chosen to uh, order the work based on in um, descending, uh, ascending order, I guess, or descending order. Uh, but I can also change this and instead, for example, use the required forklift so that I can see the ones that need a forklift first or last, depending on the order. Um, if I then select this one, I've configured that the pick line overview would be shown uh, all the time. So I immediately am navigated to the page where I see all of the work lines. As you can see, there's three pick lines here and they are ordered by the crushability, which is the weight per unit, right? So like the idea behind is that I would try to stack uh, the items that are the heaviest at the bottom of the pallet so, th so as that not to crash the um, more fragile potentially items and put them uh, on the top of the pallet. My own field is also displayed here. I, I, again, I didn't populate it in any of the work lines. So as you can see, it is relatively simple. There's very little modification that is required. All you basically have to do is add the display methods or the fields uh, and you're good to go. Thanks for listening and let me know if you have uh, questions about this.